Hello and welcome to this week's newscast from Power Engineering International. I'm Kelvin Ross. In this week's headlines, the value of European power projects has topped 3 trillion euros. China Three Gorges is to buy German offshore wind park Meerwind. A 53 megawatt power plant has been inaugurated in Senegal. Man Diesel has delivered five engines to a new power plant in Comoros. And Dusan Skoda Power has won a deal for a steam turbine in Mexico. The current value of power projects in the European energy sector stands at just over 1 trillion euros. That's according to new data from research group Industrial Info Resources, which has found that there are about 9,400 power projects underway in Europe at the moment, worth 1.02 trillion euros. And more than half of these projects are renewable-based, including wind, solar and hydropower plants. In fact, wind projects don't just dominate current clean energy spending, but the power sector as a whole, accounting for almost half of Europe's project spending, with 469 billion euros. There's also a growing number of so-called super offshore wind farms, worth in excess of 1 billion euros each, being built in the water surrounding the UK and in the North Sea. Nicola Lynch, president of Industrial Info Resources Europe, said that renewable energy is no longer the poor relation to conventional power, and she added that renewable energy is the hottest investment sector in the European power market. China Three Gorges is to buy German offshore wind park Meerwind from US buyout firm Blackstone. The Chinese company, which operates the world's largest hydropower plant, didn't disclose the purchase price, but it's believed to be in the region of $1.8 billion. The deal, signed during a visit by German Chancellor Angela Merkel to China, has German government approval, despite growing controversy over Chinese takeovers of German businesses. China Three Gorges is looking to diversify away from a saturated domestic hydropower market, and will buy Blackstone's majority interest in Wind Megawatt, an offshore wind power joint venture which owns Meerwind, a 288 megawatt project in the North Sea and is one of Germany's largest offshore wind farms. A 53 megawatt power plant has been inaugurated in the West African country of Senegal. The plant runs on three Vartzilla internal combustion engines and a combined cycle heat recovery system. Vartzilla said that the plant was delivered from concept to live generation of electricity in just 14 months. The plant will feed electricity into the national grid under a 20-year power purchase agreement with Senelac, the national electricity company. The project is part of the US government's Power for Africa initiative, which aims to add 30,000 megawatts of new power generation capacity in sub-Saharan Africa. Bartzilla has already signed a deal to expand the plant with two additional engines, which will take the total capacity to 87 megawatts. Man Diesel and Turbo has delivered five engines for a new power plant in Moroni, capital city of Comoros, an archipelago off Africa's east coast. The plant will be built by Barrett Heavy Electricals, India's largest government-owned engineering and manufacturing company. The 18 megawatt base load plant will be operated by the National Comoros Energy Department and provide power to the national grid. It will replace three outdated power stations in order to increase the overall efficiency and capacity of power generation on the small island. Dusan Skoda Power has won a deal to install another 300 megawatt steam turbine in the Empalme II combined cycle power plant in Mexico. The plant in the state of Sonora will operate with natural gas and will have a total capacity of 770 megawatts when completed in 2018. It's estimated that energy demand in the north of Mexico will grow at an annual average of 3.6% and the Empalme plant is designed to meet much of this demand. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching. Next week we'll be bringing you three video newscasts from PowerGen Europe in Milan, so make sure you tune in for all the breaking news from the conference halls and the exhibition floors.